Hi guys, if you don't have 360 degree uh, bird's eye view system in your car, today we will show you a great alternative. Normally bird's eye view system comes with four cameras. So you have one in the front, usually in this area. You have two cameras on the sides, in the side mirrors, and uh, one in the back. And as you can see, our vehicle only comes with one camera in the back. Nevertheless, it does have the bird's eye view backup system. And right now, I'll show you how it works. Here's our vehicle. And we are aiming for this spot right here. There's also this concrete beam, which we'll have to avoid. I'm going to engage my reverse speed. And as you can see, we have two screens. Uh, the one on the right is a 180 degree ultra wide view. And the one on the left is our bird's eye view. So when I start to back up, the system will start to build the picture around the vehicle based on what it sees. So we can see our Acura on the right and our beam on the left and as you can see I can easily go around them pretty cool so I can get pretty close to the wall so I'll just show you right now this is approximately how much uh, space we have left between the virtual vehicle and the wall and this is how much space uh, is left in real life so it's very close now i'm going to back up into the same spot but from a different angle So again, this is our beam. And the Acura on the right side. You can see it's built right there. And this is what I get in real life. The beam, the line, and the space in the back. Now I'll show you guys how it looks uh, when I do parallel parking. So as they start to back up, we, we see the similar situation, uh, our camera starts to build the picture around the vehicle and it kind of shows me where the curb is. So the spot is pretty big, uh, I just couldn't find any other one, but I'll try to back up all the way till I reach uh, the vehicle in the back. Again, the good thing I can also see where my rear bumper is. Let's see how much uh, space left to the curb we have in real life. And this is how much space is left right now. And the space uh, between the two units. This camera will only work with a Toto head unit. Uh, to be more specific, it has to be S8 Pro or higher and I have S8 Pro installed in uh, my vehicle 
The head unit has a certain algorithm which allows uh, the camera to build the picture around the vehicle. So if you just buy the camera, it won't work on its own. It has to work in pair with uh, the head unit. The camera has certain settings. I'll show you uh, how they look. So in order to access settings, you'll have to tap six times on the right side and one time in the middle, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. So here you can change vehicle parameters. Uh, for example, you can change vehicle lengths and widths. You can specify the exact uh, lengths and widths of your vehicle. Also, you will have to calibrate the camera after the installation. For that, Atoto does supply a special blanket and I'll show you shortly how it's done. The camera set also comes with a calibration cloth. So the small square needs to be centered with the middle of the rear bumper. And uh, the whole calibration close need to be seen from the rear view camera. This is how it looks from inside the vehicle. We can see our calibration class right here on both screens. And I'll press calibration. Uh, it looks like we are off-center a little bit, so this small square right here is uh, the one that we are aiming for. So I'll try to adjust uh, the view. And I'm gonna save it. So right now we have this small square lined up with the middle of the rear bumper. So overall I think it's a very interesting product and uh, if you don't already have the bird's eye view system uh, you should definitely consider this, it's a great alternative especially if you plan to install the Atoto head unit. In the description I will also leave the link uh, to the installation of this uh, head unit in, uh, in this case 2016 Cyan TC and soon I will also release uh, the video, the full installation video of this backup camera in this vehicle. So stay tuned.